Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So this afternoon I am heading out for a nice ladies brunch and I thought I would sit down and film a video for you guys while I'm getting ready. I don't do too many get ready with me's and the main reason is the lighting inside my studio is so different to natural light. So whenever I get ready and I'm actually going out, I tend to get ready in natural light and not in my studio. So today I have you guys out in my kitchen because whenever I do my makeup for events, um, I went to a wedding not too long ago and I had a couple little things here and there happening. I had so many of you guys asking me to film a makeup look on it, but every time I've kind of done it, I'm going somewhere. So today I set up my whole little studio out here on my dining table so I can show you guys. So first off, I always start with brows. And today I'll be using the Pony Cosmetics Brow Magic Brow Pencil. And I love this brow pencil. The main thing that I love about it is that the tip is so thin, so it's really, really easy to work with. So once I usually do a line on the bottom and then I kind of just like feather it through the brow like this. So just do tiny little strokes. Then I grab my spoolie and I actually brush all my hairs downwards. And do a line across the top. So that's before and that's after. So that's my brows done. Now what I'm going to do is carve out underneath them. This just makes them look really nice and clean and I love doing this when I'm going to like an event or going for a night out. So for concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Sand. And just using my Morphe M224 brush and then just get a little bit off there onto my brush. This bit always scares me. Then I just take that concealer down onto my lid as well. So now I'm just gonna set my eyelids with my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder in the shade Transparent. And just taking this Zoeva brush in 142 and it says it's a concealer buffer brush. These aren't the real thing either. I got these ones off eBay. So now the eyeshadow palette that I've been using a lot um, and that I'm using again today is the Wet n Wild palette in Rose in the Air. And I've been loving this palette. I've seriously been using it nonstop lately. It's really affordable as well. And I just love the colors in it. So I'm gonna start off by taking my Morphe M441 brush and dipping into this shade over here and just going to pop that in my crease. Then next I'm going to use this peachy shade down here and the dress that I'm wearing is predominantly white and then it's got brown and pink through it so I feel like this will go really nicely. So last I'm going to dip into this color here, which I typically use this one, but I think because I want it to really like look that little bit more colorful, I'll use this one just to deepen out the outer corner. And for this shade, I'm going to use my Morphe M433 brush. So now I'm going to add a little bit of glitter and I'm just going to use my model's own cream eyeshadow in the shade Copper Luster and I always just use my finger to apply this. Okay, so now I'm just going to prime my face and I'm going to use the Rimmel London Fix and Perfect Primer a bit on the back of my hand and I just use my fingers to put primer on. I've been asked a lot lately which foundation I've been using and I have been using pretty well religiously whenever I'm going out somewhere, my Maybelline Superstay foundation. I'm obsessed, it's hands down my favorite drugstore foundation. It's really good coverage though, so if you like something a bit more natural, it might not be for you, um, but I really like full coverage. So I'm going to mix 30 sand and 10 ivory. These do tend to oxidize quite a lot, like normally I am 30 sand, but that's 
pretty dark um, in this foundation for me. And just using my Morphe sponge. Now I'm just going to go back in with my Tarte Shape Tape. Now I'm just going to use my Stay Matte Powder again and pop that everywhere, but mainly concentrating where I put the concealer. And I'm just going to use my Morphe E3 brush. So now I'm going to go back in and do my eyeshadow underneath my eyes before I forget. And I think I'll predominantly use this shade and just mix a tiny bit of the darker shade on the outer edge. And sorry guys, this brush doesn't have a name on it. So for bronzer, I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess in the shade Light and use my Morphe E4 brush. Bronzer, I always start off with a little and slowly build it up because it's so easy to overdo it. So I definitely start off with just doing like a slight little amount and then slowly build it up. So that's bronzer done. It's probably got a touch darker, but I feel like that looks really natural. And because I'm gonna be adding natural light, I think I'll just leave it as that. I accidentally left my blush brush out in the other room. So I'm just gonna use my bronzer brush again. Um, and the blush I'm using is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Rose. So for highlighter today, I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade Molten Gold. I love this highlighter. So lastly, now I'm just going to use my lips. So I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Lip Liner in the shade Echelon. So for lipstick, I'm obsessed with this lipstick. I've been using it for ages now and it's just kind of my go-to. It stays on really well. It's a really nice color. Um, and this one is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Lipstick in the shade beige to stay. I'm obsessed with that lip color. And once it dries down, there's like a um, lip balm on the other end, but don't use it too soon. If you use it and it's not fully dry, it makes your lips go really weird. So while that's drying, I'm gonna go get some setting spray on. Okay guys, so that is the finished makeup look. Now I've just gotta go get my hair done, put my dress on, and I'm ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.